All right. Hello, everybody, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up and running with a development environment to program Google Sheets with your Excel Wings Python package. And so I've done, I put together a uh, little sample app here on, on GitHub. It's called Excel Wings Web Fast API. I'll leave the link below in the description. Uh, the easiest way is definitely to actually read the docs, but I mean, I will walk you through it. So you can simply click on that open and git pod button there. What that does is it basically spins up a pre-configured environment in usually no time, as, as you can see here. Uh, if you don't have a git pod account, you obviously need to log in first with your GitHub uh, account. However, the two uh, services are, are on, uh, not related to each other. Now, as you see, it spins up this Visual Studio code which runs inside your browser. If you don't like that, you could also run it locally or you could even connect it with PyCharm on your local machine. But we're going to use it here in the browser. And as you can see here in the terminal, it asks for my license key. So Google Sheets is, is part of the x -Wings Pro package which is free for non-commercial use but requires a trial either a trial license key or a pay license key for commercial use so if you use this commercially just click here on the link and get your trial license key if you use it non-commercially then you can put in the non-commercial uh, license key here then hit enter and that will then just, you know, spin up the server and you are basically ready to rock. And so what what is it running actually? So if you go into the app folder, you find basically the main.py file. And and this is sort of like what we're looking at and what we are going to concentrate on uh, to begin with. So basically, this is our hello world sample. And if you look at the two lines here in the middle, they are classic Excel wing syntax as you've always used them. Now to make that uh, available to, you know, the cloud-based Google Sheets, we do need to basically expose it on, on a server. And to do that, we have to wrap it in a basically in a, in a, in a, well, in a, in an endpoint served by a web framework here on a web server. And we're using fast API here, but the only thing really is that there's a bit of boilerplate. So we're going to expose this under the hello endpoint. And then you have to basically instantiate a book object like so, and then return the response like so. But that, you know, you can look at this at really just a minimal boilerplate. And all the other things basically are kept here in the app app file. So this is where, the, you know, the, the small, the really small low boilerplate from fast API happens. This is where we authenticate our requests. But for your purposes, probably this is not what you have to look into when you're just getting started. And so the only other piece now that we need to make this run or that, you know, so we can call it from Google Sheets is to connect it with the Google Apps script, which is just really JavaScript. So let's go in the JavaScript folder. Uh, we're going to go to Google. So pick the Google one, copy that. It's pre-configured. Go into your Excel, uh, sorry, into your Google Sheet, click on extensions apps script this will open a new tab here uh, basically ready to just you know paste whatever we have just copied over and then make sure to save it and that should already now select the hello here in the drop down menu and so now when i run that hello button here then you will see that um, first of all, it's going to ask us the permissions to actually run this script. And it's only going to do this the very first time that we run this. After that, it's going to store it and it's going to ask for two permissions. So one is um, it's going to call an external service, which is our Excel Wings 
you know, backend, our Excel Wing server that we've just looked at here in Gitpod. And then obviously it needs to have access to that spreadsheet that we want Excel Wings to manipulate. So we're just gonna say, okay. And once we've allowed this, you can see it's going to write this over here right away. And then, so basically we can go back to our um, uh, environment here and say, buy Excel Wings. And so basically the next time that we call it, um, we then, okay, here we go. Uh, we will get the uh, new updated um, string that we changed on the back end. And so I've thought, you know, I'm giving you something a little bit more fun as, as a demo here. So I've included a, a simple Yahoo Finance sample. And so to do that, uh, basically in Google Sheets, you can just come here, you can basically copy that function and say, okay, uh, this is gonna be our, our Yahoo uh, function and it's gonna call basically the Yahoo backend endpoint. And so we can just switch to the Yahoo uh, script over here uh, we can run it and the first time, as you will see, if you have a look here at the code, the first time you run it, it'll upload, it'll basically add a new sheet, you know, pre-configured for you to query um, a, a ticker and some historical data. But at this point, instead of just, you know, rerunning the script again, like the way we've just done it, I wanted to show you how you can also import like draw a button here is to make things a tiny little bit easier so let's just add this rounded rectangle let's give it this simple name run let's probably find the center button here and then say save put it somewhere where it fits uh, select it click these three buttons then put in the Yahoo script that we wanted to call. And then basically we just, you know, click on it. Uh, on the right hand side, we can see the server reacts to the request and we get the response from Yahoo delivered here through the uh, Y Finance package. And so if, if you look at this, um, if you look at this code, then uh, you will see that the Yahoo Finance package, you know, delivers or, or returns a, a PANAS data frame that, as usual, we can just assign to our target value. And you will also see that, uh, you know, Excel Wings takes care of the correct type conversion. So we've got uh, the dates here, we've got strings, we've got floats. So that's all taken care of. And so, like we can even do this, you know, we can go back, let's say a little longer. Uh, we run this and um, it does really like work in a, in a reasonably quick fashion here on, on, on Google Sheets. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And then I can just say, okay, I want Apple and maybe I want to go back to, uh, let's say, you know, uh, beginning of the year and I run this again and this should take care here of cleaning up that unused range. So that's like how easy it is to, you know, spin up a development server, have a full uh, VS Code environment here running in the browser, taking care of everything, uh, pre-configured, have full Git integration. So, um, you know, I can now go here um, and basically push these changes back to to github and and have the usual git workflow that you would expect um even if you're programming a spreadsheet these days that unfortunately you know by just using google apps script um you you wouldn't get and so that's how you develop things but uh for for production deployment uh, you would need to deploy this code here to a production server because Gitpod is only a development environment that obviously shuts down, you know, after like 30 minutes that you stop using it. 
So how you set up a production environment is going to be the topic of another video. And also, if you want to see how you can use this with um, Excel on the web, then it works absolutely similar. Um, Excel on the web is a little bit more restrictive in, in a couple of things that are a bit behind the curve, but other than that, um, it works the same, but also that one I'll give you a separate video where I show you how everything works. Thanks so much for, for watching and see you in the next video.